officially unveiled um, our first women's box. This has been a pretty long time coming now. We've been flirting with the idea for about a year. And so we started buying them. So now we've got like a, a really random collection of just cool, colorful kits. You know, you can see here we've got Porto, we've got Venezia, and um, we've got like the full works really. Um, and we've timed it so that the Women's World Cup's coming out. The interest in women's football's picking up and picking up and picking up. And I don't know how well it's gonna do or perform, um, but I hope there's a good reception because we've put a lot of time into sourcing good quality shirts and also marking it appropriately. Um, well, we used to use it to do everything manually and then the AI system was brought in, which makes things so much quicker. I mean, it's not perfect yet, but there's still bits and pieces that need to be done. But once an order comes in, it takes what avoids that you have avoided. So the three avoids when purchasing, it'll take those into consideration, put that to the tags that we've put in to the products so that it can avoid those uh, shirts that this person's chosen. It'll hopefully find a shirt that fits that, uh, that choice and then we'll allocate that shirt and then uh, we go around, pick up the shirt, come back and then box away. Uh, my favourite shirt would be the 98 United treble winning one. The one they wore in the Premier League because they had a different Champions League one. But they had like the old Umbro style, the collar and Dwight York used to pop it up after he scored and all. It was just, it's like very 90s look and that would probably be my favourite. Uh, more of the modern ones, I think anything Venezia do is really like fashionable, look good. I think they've sort of showed how new kits can look sort of vintage but new at the same time. So anything Venezia, and we do have them in the women's kits. So if they weren't women's sizes, I probably would have taken them home by now. Yeah, so I think I have a couple. Uh, the first one would have been United's home one from 2006 2007 I think it had like a gold trim on it a uh, big white block badge and then uh, the AIG sponsor which is probably one of the best sponsors United have had for a while um, yeah and just remember Rooney and uh, Ronaldo wearing that uh, the season after I think Ronaldo had winked at him at the Euros so they had a great season that year um, yeah, it's a classic home shirt, uh, probably one of our best. And then I think my favourite shirt of all time, it's not like United, would be Barcelona's um, Away 2003, I think it is. It's got a, I think it's like a brownie beige colour with like a, a primary Barca colours pinstripe along. But it's famous from uh, Ronaldinho wearing it and yeah, I just remember watching La Liga on Sky Sports back in the day. Um, watching Ronaldinho play was uh, yeah one of the most exciting things to do. Uh, tough one. Uh, I don't know if I have an exact shirt. Um, I've got a lot of my collection, but the one I'd wear the most probably at the moment is the new Liverpool home top. It's a lovely wee top. My favourite ever football shirts would probably be the Italian 90 Ireland ones, both home and away. The green and the white one, they're just as nice as each other. Um, it was a wee bit before my time, but I was hearing my dad and my uncles on about how well they done the tournament. And I've obviously seen all the clips and rewatched all the matches and stuff. It was the first ever tournament that they got to, the first ever World Cup anyway. And their best ever finish, so yeah, it's both iconic kits. And then Arsenal's 2006 like maroon one with O2 in it. As an Arsenal fan, like a tough season, we lost the Champions League final, but just that kit, seeing like Thierry Henry in it, it's like one of my favourite kits ever. My favourite three shirts that we've had so far was the limited edition Santos Laguna black neon green Lucha Libre shirt. Uh, the Tigres with the proper like mad tiger with the three colours on it. I think it's the home Phoenix shirt, which is the one with the actual Phoenix on it, not the, the golden white one, are definitely my top three. Yeah, I have to try. I'd rather go. Yeah, 
outrageous. Outrageous. Just stop purposely. It's just gonna be a zoom in with the Northern Ireland shirt. You're getting too close, sorry. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Round the world. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. Did you get that on camera? I didn't know. You put that in slow mo. It does look cozy to be fair. <laughs> Rick, that's your forfeit for the keep up challenge. Do you really, that, I mean, it's warm enough. I don't really care. It's li like, <laughs> but Jesus. Jesus, this is probably the brightest stuff I've ever worn in my life. <laughs> you have to keep it on you all day. I look like a, a real cheap creeper from Minecraft. <laughs> This is awful. I'm gonna be sweating something shocking. Yeah, yeah. Does it feel that's, restrictive? That's the worst thing about it. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not really. I've still got like <laughs> full movement, <laughs> but it's just the fact of you know. Just right <laughs> I'm gonna be sweating in five minutes. Have you any final words on your outfit for the day, Brick? I wish I had some neon socks. <laughs> just to complete the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> 